Today, Count and I are gonna be trying some Mountain Dews for you. I have the Liberty Chill, the Star Spangled Splash, uh, Freedom Fusion, and the Infinite Swirl. These were $2.69 each at Speedway, and I believe the Infinite Swirl is a Speedway slash 7-Eleven um, exclusive. Uh, that's just as far as I know, but I will tell you, uh, we had gone in Kroger right before, and we looked for the 12 packs, and they didn't have the 12 packs. And I'm so glad, because whether you know it or not, we don't drink full calorie drinks, we drink diet. So we are zero calorie people. So anytime we buy uh, 12 packs of full calorie, we have to try it, but then we just give it away, because we can't, you know, we just don't drink our calories. So I was so glad that Kroger did not have them because we would have spent all that money, no telling how much it would have cost in Kroger, right. and then walked in Speedway and then here they had all of them. So I'm so glad that we waited, even though they probably cost a little bit more, $2.69 a piece, still. And they um, weren't in the cooler at Speedway either. They were in a, like a like the holders just sitting in the middle of the They house. were, if you walked in and you walked just back to the refrigerator, you would have missed them mm -hmm. because you had to go down, uh, you had to look down like the candy bar aisle. They were between like the Little Debbies and the candy yeah, bars. They have like an empty spot that sticks. And they just, yeah, and they were all there and, and the, the woman behind the counter, she said, I wish they had put some in the refrigerator, but they didn't. So anyway, we brought them home. We've had them in the refrigerator. Uh, the Liberty Chill, we actually have reviewed this before, but we haven't had it since that time, so we're gonna be trying it again it says it is 50 flavors in one do it is 290 calories for the 20 ounce bottle and that folks is why we don't <laughs> that's more than a candy bar that's more than a payday you could have a payday for that for less than that you okay. Wanna, okay we're i didn't get glasses because you could see them you could see them the colors and, and we don't mind drinking each we're each married other. yeah, yeah, yeah. We, don't mind. we have two children it smells like cotton candy and i have no clue what we said last time we tried it because i i never go back and watch our videos sometimes i'll go back and click on a video for information like to find out how much it costs like that would actually now that i'm thinking about it i wish i had done that it would have been neat to see okay what year did we try it and how much did it cost then and because i guarantee you it probably costs more now it, it kind of reminds you of a mix of cotton candy and uh the blue pop of uh, bob bob yes but it has a little cotton candy kind of flavor too I can really get behind. And you know what? I, th pop. I think bomb pops have changed from our childhood. Yeah. I think bomb pops, I'm going to be that old person and say bomb top pops used to taste better back in the old days. It's just the truth. I don't think they have the same texture, flavor, anything. But that tastes like the blue in an old school blue bomb pop. And I really do like it quite it's a bit. Good. I like mm -hmm. it. Very nice. I like that little bit of a, just a touch of that sweet cotton candy kind of flavor. Mm -hmm. No, no, I totally get that too. Kevin's, I think he's very accurate in his description. I don't know what the other 48 flavors are, but. No, but <laughs> if they had that in diet, we would buy it and drink yeah, it. I would it's drink that it. good. Yeah, it's really okay, good. Super so sweet. Now, Star Spangled Splash. It is due with a blast of red berry flavor. This one is only. 270 calories. So this is, we're saving some calories. Mm, smells like punch. I definitely taste the, the underlying Mountain Dew mm -hmm. flavor yeah. in it, yeah. I can say in that first one, I did not taste Mountain Dew. Like no, there you were, really good at Mountain Dew in the room. Yeah, there was like nothing Mountain Dew about that, that blue one. What do they call it? Liberty? Liberty? Liberty Chill. Yeah, there was nothing like Mountain Dew about it to mm -hmm. me. But now this one. Yeah, you can definitely taste a little bit of the Mountain Dew coming through. I don't know what the other flavor are, flavor is though. 
It says red berry. Oh, but it does not taste like, I wouldn't uh, call uh, it. Maybe, uh, maybe a little cherry like, maybe a little strawberry, raspberry. I guess it's all a mix of those three berries. That's only three berries I can think of. I guess. It doesn't, it doesn't taste like strawberry. No. Or raspberry. Or cherry, it, no. Yeah, it doesn't taste like those. Um, Might be some mix of those. I things. can see where it would be a mix. Yeah. yeah. It's still good and it's still sweet. It I mean, is good. I like it. If you like Mountain Dew, then you'll like it. Out of the two so yeah, far, I like the blue one, yeah, the, the Liberty. Um, this is Freedom Fusion and it is due with a blast of a lemonade and peach. And this one's right in the middle. So this one was 270. This one is 280, and that one's 290, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so 280 calories. I like how these are like, you know, the red, white, and blue, 4th of July kind of theme. I, I think that's cool. Uh, so lemonade and peach. They're easy to open, I have to say that. Ooh, it smells funky. It must taste funky. Mm. It tastes like it smells. Mm -hmm. I don't like the lemonade and peach. I don't mix. like the after even. The before, the smell, it's like, okay, this is going to be nasty. And then you take a drink. I do not like that combination at all. Well, now that it's so in, a, I'm getting mostly kind of a funky peach kind of flavor. Yes, peach. Yeah, peach but it's is, not a good peach. No, it's like the peach that's fallen on the ground and it's been there for a while. It's rolled around and you've picked it up and you've taken a bite out of it. Uh, I don't care for it at all. No, um, that one I don't care for either. No, I would never get that one again. So they I, could make that in diet and I'm still not buying it. I wish they would have made it just peach and it, or just lemonade and it would have been better but mixing those two together this doesn't go and it's deal. really it's, it's just strong it's and kind of. yeah it has a bitter yeah I, I yeah there's nothing about that that i like no, i would never get that again no not me either some people will love it okay not for me. this one is um <laughs> i like that pineapple on there oh he's it's cool. like a rocket yeah it does uh, this is Infinite Swirl, and this is due with a blast of artificial pineapple berry flavor. Hmm. Pineapple berry, and this is 280 calories. Okay. What berry do they have a picture of? Like they that. don't. I didn't see I a see berry. I see pineapples. I see pineapples, but I don't see a berry because hmm. I was looking. We'll it's a there. secret. I like how all of them say no juice. <laughs> No, nothing natural in here. I think it's amazing. I, I I probably just never paid attention, but I was a kid. I was born in '72, so you know I was a kid of the late '70s, '80s. You know the strawberry shortcake, all that. I just don't remember them coming out with a bunch of different flavors of Mountain Dew. I do not remember that happening. Or so, anything. So, so if they did, you know, you didn't hear about the Dr. Pepper with the coconut or whatever. You know, you didn't get stuff like that. And nowadays, it's like they're just churning them out. And it's amazing how each one of these has a very different but distinct flavor. Mm -hmm. I'm what impressed. I'm going to take another drink. I like it. The the pineapples definitely. There's something else there. If they had just done a pure pine, pineapple, I probably would have liked it better. But um, it's got a little, like a something else there that throws it off a bit. To me, you get the pineapple, but I'm going to say something very exact. I get the pineapple more after I've taken the drink, swallowed it, and closed my mouth and just breathe. Then you get the, that yeah. pineapple yeah, the flavor, essence. that yeah, yeah, that aftertaste of yeah. that pineapple. That's mainly what I'm getting. As far as berry, I have a no clue. No, I don't None. taste the berry. The berry doesn't like stand out, but there's something different there. Um, yeah, pineapple. it's definitely not just pineapple. No. It um, could be the Mountain Dew itself coming through too. Oh, oh. Because Mountain Dew has a very specific flavor as well. I like it. It's like sweet, it. but it's not syrupy sweet. I like so, you it know, better than this peach one. Normally, uh, normally full calorie drinks, they're really like 
heavy syrup filling sweetness. That one is not. It is, it's really nice, but it's not like I feel like it's uh, syrupy sweet. No. But I have no clue what the berry is. I like it. If they made that in diet, I would drink that one too. Yeah. But my favorite out of all of these the Liberty. is still that Liberty. Yeah, I would go Liberty, then whatever this red one was. Star Spangled Splash, then that one, and then this one I would never buy. Okay, hold on. One more time. Okay, I would go Liberty and then pineapple. and then the pineapple, the then the swirl. Infinite Swirl. I would go Liberty and then Infinite Swirl and then this one and then pour that one down the drain. <laughs> yeah. Drain cleaner. <laughs> that one, yes, clean the toilet bowl <laughs> oh, with that one. It's so acidic it would. Um, so you have to let us know. Hopefully you can go in your local gas station, 7-Eleven Speedway, and find all these like we did. Um, just get them nice and cold because they're gonna taste best. I mean, they don't have to be cold, of course not, but they're gonna taste best if they're cold. But I think they're very fun to try each flavor. Yeah. Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.